Hello and welcome to our supports presentation of Remote View. Uh, this is our remote access product used for accessing your home or office computer while you're traveling or away from the office. Um, so we're going to show you how to install that and, and get it set up on your system and then how to access your computer uh, while you're away. So over here we have our, our home computer and uh, we're going to install the Remote View application here and set it up for remote access. So we'll start off by accessing the Remote View webpage. Uh, it's rview.net. Uh, from here, you can log in with your registered ID and password, uh, which is normally your email address once you register with the site. Um, once we log in, we're displayed with a list of our, um, of our existing computers that we've installed Remote View on. Uh, what we're going to do here is add an, another computer to that list, which is the computer I'm using right now. So if we go down here, we have an available slot for a computer. We're going to click on Install. It's going to be downloading the Remote View agent as, as we click it. And we're just going to execute that. Installation will begin, and we'll be installing the agent uh, on this computer. Uh, during installation, we'll need to enter our user ID again to confirm who we are and to set up an access ID and password for this computer. So you can select all the default settings, it's not a problem. Okay, here I'm going to be assigning an access ID and, and password for this system. This is a, a security login uh, just for this computer. So when you access the website in the future, you would enter this information to access your system. Okay, so installation has completed. Uh, remote View is connecting to our server and just downloading all the recent updates uh, to make sure it's up to date and secure. Uh, once this is completed, it'll log in uh, by itself and uh, it's, it's available right here in your system tray. This is the Remote View icon. Uh, that means it is logged in at the moment. Um, so the computer is live and uh, ready to be accessed over the internet. And we can see here that it is. So we're going to log out of the website here. Now <clears throat> the computer is online and ready to be accessed, so we're going to go to our remote system, which is our computer over here. This could be a computer located anywhere in the world, uh, at your office, at your home, at your friend's house, or even around the world. As long as you have internet access, uh, you, can, you can gain access to your other systems. So from this computer, we're going to log in, same as we did before, with our user ID and password. And when we access our computer list, uh, we will see the same list that we saw before, uh, including the computer that we've, just, uh, that we've just added to our list. So to access the computer, once it comes up, we just uh, double click on the computer, it's very simple. We'll be prompted to enter in our secure access ID and password to, uh, to log in. So that would be the password and ID that we set up previously. Um, this whole process is very secure, it's all encrypted end to end with SSL AES encryption. So the remote view application will launch on the desktop, and this is loading from the website. So nothing's installed on this computer that I'm using. So you can even use this from an internet cafe, PC cafe, because uh, nothing has to be installed. It's loading dynamically uh, right from the website. So in just a moment, my desktop will come up. And uh, so yeah, we can see the remote desktop just like that. Um, I have full remote control over that desktop. You can use the computer as if you were sitting at the computer. And as you can see, performance is uh, very responsive, near real-time response. Now to show you an example of the performance, <clears throat> we can show you uh, an example here with a 3D CAD file. So even over the remote connection, uh, you can still demonstrate uh, 3D files, graphics, pictures, even streaming video uh, over the remote connection. Let me show you an example of that here. So you can see that you can still render near real-time 3D graphics over the remote connection. Now, as well as remote control and, and fast screen sharing, there's a lot of features built into the application. Uh, like file transfers. <coughs> file transfers are very easy. You can drag and drop from desktop to desktop if you wish. So if we have a document on our desktop and we wish to transfer it, and we wish to transfer it over to the other desktop.
You can do that simply by dragging it over. Transfer the file. <coughs> and then the file is transferred to the remote computer, just like that. So uh, we give you a lot of access to your system, not, not just remote control, but file transfers, file management. And uh, you can even record the sessions to video if you wish uh, to back up your sessions and, and view them later. So that is remote view. Um, uh, the disconnection procedure. Uh, so once the session has ended and we've disconnected, um, no one has access to the remote machine at all anymore. You would need to log into the website to gain access again. So the remote machine is very secure. And like I said, on the computer you're using, there's no installed files, no programs installed. So you're not uh, affecting the computer that you're using, especially if it's an internet cafe computer or a friend's computer. You're not going to be changing any settings or installing any programs. Um, so uh, if you would like to try out Remote View, we'd be happy for you to sign up for a trial on our website, uh, www.rv.net. And you can sign up for a free two-week trial of Remote View. And you have access uh, to up to three remote systems during that time. So we thank you for your time and for watching, and have a great day.